Andy Griffith Show, starring Andy Griffith. There has never been a decade quite like the 60s. The decade shook a nation, bringing about changes that would reshape us as a people. Thunderbird. Finally, the car everyone's been waiting to see. Cars were big, gas was cheap, the economy was humming, life was good. Families gathered around TVs to watch Bonanza, Batman, or American Bandstand. Teens were caught up in Beatlemania, and President Kennedy offered the challenge of what he called a new frontier. Man first walked on the moon, and the famous words were uttered, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was a decade that introduced the hippie subculture, Woodstock, and the civil rights movement. However, the country did face hardships with such events as the assassination of a president, the Vietnam War, the United States answer to what Adlai Stevenson termed Soviet blackmail in Cuba, and the Cuban Missile Crisis. But a dream introduced by Martin Luther King Jr. would summon a change that all human beings would have the right and access to achieve lifetime goals, regardless of the color of their skin. Hello. I'm John Bolin. In the midst of all that rocked our country, the rapidly growing communities in East Harris County, Texas, produced another turbulent situation, which helped define education in our communities. Although public schools were meeting the educational needs for elementary and secondary students, a handful of visionary educators and civic leaders also believed the area needed a college to meet the needs of those wanting to continue their education after high school. After much planning, strong public opposition, and Hurricane Carla, in 1961, San Jacinto College became a reality. The beginnings of the college were so tumultuous, it was called the Second Battle of San Jacinto in the local newspapers, fitting for the decade in which the college was born. On September 18, 1961, students arrived at two renovated buildings in the 100 block of South Shaver in old downtown Pasadena. At 8.30 a.m., the buildings officially opened their doors as East Harris County Union Junior College. By the end of the first week, the college had obtained an enrollment of 876 students, setting a record for the highest first-year enrollment of Texas junior colleges. Almost a month later, the college held an election for the naming of its first newspaper, yearbook, and mascot. Each of the winning names held special significance and was closely tied to Texas history. The Texian, the school newspaper, was named after the early Texas settlers. The Monument Yearbook referenced the San Jacinto Monument, and the students chose the Raven as the college's mascot, after the American Indian name given to General Sam Houston. It was the spring of 1962 when five transfer students became the first graduating class of the college. In 1965, one of those five students, Perry Oren, became the first to return to the college as a faculty member. In the fall of 1962, the Heinrich Science Building opened on Spencer Highway. This marked the beginning of students attending two campuses located nine miles apart. January 29, 1963, saw the beginning of the college's nursing program with an enrollment of 50 students. And on January 23, 1965, the program held its first nursing graduation ceremony. For the duration of the 62-63 school years, students continued to attend classes on two campuses. On June 1, 1964, the college's first summer session began, along with the official opening of the McCollum Administration Building. This marked the end of a divided college, as San Jacinto College continued its growth at the Spencer Highway location. On November 12, 1961, the Raven basketball team played its first game in the Pasadena High School Gymnasium. Just a few years later, in February 1964, they won their first major basketball title in the Texas Junior College Athletic Conference playoffs. In a back and forth struggle, the Ravens prevailed over South Texas College, winning 67-64 and capturing the South Zone Championship. Recognition came their way again during the 67-68 season when the Ravens posted a 44-2 overall record as they celebrated the college's first national championship under head coach Ron Rucker. For San Jacinto College, the 60s decade began with turmoil. 
It was also a time of important first, which created a foundation for the tremendous growth and expansion of many decades to come. Just as the nation changed during this decade, San Jacinto College also brought about positive change in East Harris County.